welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So most of you guys know that I actually have four pugs. The oldest is Mario. Then we have three girls, Molly, Grace and Rose. Nearly forgot their names there. They're like proper children. And I have done a few challenges with them actually if you want to go and check them out. Um, but our middle girl, um, Grace, she is actually pregnant and we've had her scan which i did vlog the other day for you guys if you want to go check that out too she's got five pups inside her and they all have really nice healthy heartbeats and literally since like they were old enough to like move around and stuff like that i've been like feeling her like well the pups kick and like move around inside her stomach and i actually managed to capture it moving on camera like you could see it um i posted like a little video of that on my instagram if you want to go check that out too i've currently got <laughs> rose this is rosie and mario licking me which is really annoying but it keeps mario quiet while i'm trying to vlog then we have molly there momo she's literally my shadow she follows me everywhere so i'm really sorry about my face because as you can see i got bitten on my forehead and there which is really annoying but they're finally starting to heal up which is really good and i got like dog hair in my mouth that's what i have to deal with on a daily basis but anyway yeah grace is due like this week so she's due roughly around the end of the week but at the moment, Grace is starting to scrap around and dig and everything. So that's basically a sign of her looking for like a little nest to have her puppies. So I'll show you what she's doing now. Hello, Gracie. What are you doing? What are you doing, Grace? Are you digging around? So I've put the cage, because she kept going inside this cage, and it's not normally her cage. This is Rose's and Molly's cage, and um, we usually have it in the garage, and that's where they sleep. So we've put it in here, though, because this is like our conservatory, because I can sleep on the sofa, so I can keep an eye on her. But also, at the same time, it's nice in here for, like, the pup for her to have her puppies because it's really quiet she's still got some light but then we have put this cover on top of her cage so she's got like the darkness because they like it to be nice and dark and then it's nice and like cool but also we've got the radiator so if she want a bit of warmth but i've got everything ready on top of the cage which i'll show you in a minute but yeah grace at the moment is digging around I've filled up her bed with like tissue and stuff because that's nice to scrap around in and I've put newspapers and stuff down if she wants to scrap around in that but um, if she decides to go and have her puppy somewhere else then we have to let her go there but this will be better for you darling won't it that she's all feeling sorry for herself I think the camera is just a bit intrusive you should be used to me holding the camera up shouldn't you yeah um yeah but hopefully when she starts having like the pups and stuff like if everything's going all okay and i've got time to set up my camera then i would really like to um vlog obviously the birth and her giving you know giving birth to the puppies because that'll be really nice to vlog that and capture that on camera especially for you guys to see um but yeah there's five pups all together five of them um i'll show you what stuff i've bought her so on top of her cage I've got this like first aid kit for puppies. So this basically has these little clamps and you use these to like clamp onto their umbilical cord and that will just cut it off. That's if Grace decides not to because normally the mother will bite the sack open and then bite off the umbilical cord. But just in case Grace doesn't, I've got like everything ready. Then there's also this... Um, aspirator so this basically you stick in the puppy's mouth and you pump it um, and this is if the puppy comes out and it's not breathing then we can try and like revive it i also have printed out loads of like useful tips and stuff for when she's given birth so if anything does happen we can just look on her and make sure you know it's not me panicking it is normal um, we also have numbers for like emergency vets we've got numbers for a few different vets so um if she does need like you know having trouble having the pups and we need to get her a c-section then we can obviously take her to the vet the only thing is 
I live right outside in the countryside and all the vets are ages away so we found one which is just down the road and it looks like they live there at the same time which is really good because they'll probably be there 24 7 the other vets I don't think they're there all the time you have to go to like emergency one but obviously we want to take her somewhere which will like give her the best care and everything so moving on I've then got loads of newspapers I've got doggy training pads these will probably come in useful um, just to keep the bottom of the cage nice and clean and then also when the puppies are old enough probably going to have to buy some more of them then I've got loads of anti-back wipes spray, kitchen roll and then also another thing just in case if Grace um, doesn't end up feeding the pups for some reason which touch wood we know she will because she's a really good she's a really good pug um, we've got um, puppy milk ready and then also two bottles so we can um feed them if they need to be fed and we also when the puppies are old enough we've got these little collars these are like special little velvet collars that you can put on puppies so you know which one's which especially if you then obviously go to sell them that goes on to the next thing we want to talk about is obviously we can't keep all of the pups just because we already have four pugs and we just really wanted one of our girls to be able to have a like a litter and then that was it we don't want we're not going to breed and breed them we just that's just not our cup of tea we feel like it's only natural that they do have like one litter and stuff so most of you guys know that we've got little rosie spade and she definitely can't have pups because she basically has like a dodgy spine so it wouldn't be safe for her to have babies and the babies probably would come out with the same kind of problem she's so cute and then little molly over here you've had one litter didn't you but unfortunately she reabsorbed them all so she didn't actually have the litter she had like a good few amount of puppies inside her when we got her scanned and then it was like nothing was happening and we got her scanned again and basically she had reabsorbed all the puppies her body obviously needed like the energy and stuff so her body reabsorbed the pups so we can have puppies then then she had puppies a second time and unfortunately um you had complications again didn't you darling she had one puppy left inside her but it obviously had died a long while ago because it was all green when it came out we were thinking well, you're gonna have to have an operation and that but um while she was in the vet waiting for operation she actually gave birth to it and it was really sad it actually really made me cry i felt really bad and oh she lost her baby the only one she had left um so we then got her spade so little gracie Gracie darling is she's looking so sorry for herself bless her she's our last girl that can have pups but out of all of them she's definitely the strongest like Molly's really strong but Grace is just like that tough cookie you know that she's like we call her the devil dog because she's just so naughty like her little pups will probably come out with little devil horns on but I absolutely love her to bits she can get really jealous and stuff but at the same time it's just because she just really loves me and stuff but yeah and then we've got Mario the dad so basically the puppies like i'm saying we're not going to be able to keep all the puppies we really want to sell them and give them to new homes so other families like little boys and girls can enjoy the puppies like have their own little pug puppy and um the thing with i don't know if a lot of you guys know about genetics and stuff but cut a long story short and make it easy for you to understand mario obviously carries the merle gene because he's a merle pug he also carries the AT gene which is like a tan tricolour um, gene and then Grace also carries that but twice which means her puppies will definitely come out with like tan colours, tricolours and also her offspring will carry that gene so if her pups then end up having babies, puppies too, they will um, come out with like tricolours and tan colours. And she also carries the B gene, which is the chocolate gene, but she only carries it once. So she, her puppies might come out chocolatey colour, they might not. But um, mixed in with Mario's genes, like the Merle and stuff and the tan, we could have some really lovely coloured, like, pug, coat pugs colored pugs like oh i can't wait for you to see i'm like i'm so super excited to see what colors we have so yeah i can't wait i hope you guys can't wait too 
I think I've pretty much explained everything that's happening. She's due literally the end of this week. I've been squeezing her nipples every day to see if milk's coming out because sometimes that's like a sign that she's basically the puppy's going to come but sometimes they might not produce milk hence why we've got spare milk and then also she um, might not produce milk straight away so but her nipples are so big like I I'll take her out the cage you could see her better but we need to leave her in the cage because I don't know if you can see her. He's like camouflaged in there. She's just all sleepy and stuff. But she hasn't moved outside that bed yet. I'm going to be going to meet my cousin today. Um, but I'm not sure. She won't be given birth today, guys. So it's actually Monday today, guys. So I've vlogged today and put the video out straight away. I want you to keep updated as it's happening. So I literally vlogged this vlog only a couple of hours before you're now watching this does that make sense no but i don't know i'm just like oh i'm just really excited okay she's scrapping about again look are you getting comfy grace Are you getting comfy, darling? <laughs> oh, bless her little heart. So anyway, I'm going to leave the vlog hair, the little puppy um, update. I hopefully, maybe in the next video, um, it might be another little puppy update or I might just bring out a normal kind of vlog and then the next update will probably be grace like basically the real signs where she's panting and basically about to give birth that will probably be the next update because for the next couple of days it will just basically be her scrapping around and just looking really sorry for herself which is understandable but yeah hopefully the next update will be her about to give birth so i hope you guys were all excited i think i've said that about 10 times i'm gonna shut up because i feel like i'm waffling on but anyway guys i love you and i'll see you in the next video Bye.